Okay, we're going to add page numbers to a document today. Okay, this document has already got styles added to it. It's already got headings, like this is heading one right here, um, heading one. So it's already got all the headings that it needs added to it. You can think it's view the navigation pane and you can see right here, these are all headings that have already been added to this document. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to click down where the header footer might be, double click, so it, it opens it up. As you can see right here, it says first page footer, section one. So when you're clicking and opening a header or a footer, it opens this tab that was not there previously. So like if I click away from it, that tab is gone. But if I click back on it, it opens this design tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a page number right here. So we're going to go over here to the left where it says page number. I like to just go ahead and add it to the current position as a plain number. Okay, so here is our page number. It is actually Times New Roman, I'm betting 11. Go home and we can see it, yes. So we're going to change it to Arial 12. Because in most of our documents, that's what it is supposed to be. Now, this is just a plain number without the chapter or the appendix number on it. So we're going to actually add our chapter numbers on here. So highlight the number, right click, and go to format page numbers. So our page number format box is open. We want to include the chapter numbers. Now we have to decide on which chapter we're going to use, which heading, um, because in our document, this is heading one. We're going to use heading one. You can use colons, periods, long dashes. We're just going to use a hyphen on our documents. And we are starting at number one. So we click OK. And you see it's changed to 1-1, one one, because this is chapter one, page one. Now we're going to go down to our next page. And it did not save as the next, it didn't, sometimes it will automatically do if it's same as previous. Right here, it does not say same as previous. So if we go back up to our design tab, you can see right here under the navigation, you can link to the previous page. Make sure your cursor is in the section that you want it to link to. Link to the previous page. It says, do you want to delete this header or footer? Yes, because we don't even have a header or footer there. Okay, so now it is supposed to be same as previous. Sometimes it works right, sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna go right here and we have, hmm, Times New Roman 11 again. So we're gonna change it back to Arial 12. And all I did is click on that and it shows up. I highlighted the number and that shows up. If you don't, you can also go back to home and put Arial 12 there. Now we're also going to add our format our page number so we can add our chapter, adding one with our hyphen, okay. So this is chapter three. Wonder what happened to chapter two? Oh, we can see right there that two and three are together. So we're gonna click on this page and we're gonna actually have to separate these two. Yes, these are really short. I, this is just for an example but that's what happens sometimes, even on long chapters. So we put our cursor at the end of where we want it to be, and we're going to go to 
layout and we're going to add a break. I know most of you just want to add a page break. That's not what we're going to do. We are going to add a section next page break. The reason we do that is because each section has different headers or footers. So we go down here and we've got an extra return there. So now look, it says 2-1 on it. We go down to this page. Oh, 3-1. So it must say, same as previous. Go down to the next page, and it does not say same as previous, but we do want it to link to the previous one. And it sort of linked to the previous one. And this is what happens in Word. Sometimes it works great. Sometimes it's a little quirky. So we're going to highlight it. It says Arial 12. Right click, format page number. We're going to include the chapter number. It's heading one. Okay, so now we got 4 1. And then 4 2. And this one's got the one, but it doesn't have the chapter so again format page number include the chapter number okay number six same as previous again it's missing the chapter number so highlight it right click format page number add the chapter number okay same way here format page number Add the chapter number, okay. Number eight, again, same thing. Format page number, include the chapter number, okay. Now we're into the appendix, appendix A. We go down here and there's nothing. If we Click on link to previous, it's going to give us the chapter number, and we really don't want the chapter number. So we're going to format page number. Our chapter number is not heading one. The appendix is heading, it's either six or seven on most of our documents. So go with six and see if that works. A-1, it did work. Go to the next appendix, there's nothing. We're gonna link to previous and it says B-1. If it doesn't link to previous when you do it, sometimes you just have to save your document, close it and come back. Okay, so now we have page numbers all the way through our document. 